Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Klenoa. Last time we left off, we went back, our grandpa died, and now we're gonna go into this temple and probably, probably beat some people up. Uh, Klenoa is angry, and rightfully so. So, I'm gonna throw people extra hard. Oh yeah, we also collected orbs. Remember orbs. Yeah. You are so quiet, friend. Can you speak up? Yeah, it makes sense. The usual evildoer goal. Friend, I've got a score to settle. They nuked my grandpa, okay? Eclipse gives power to the evil ones. Hmm. If there was a new Klonoa game, that would be a really interesting way. Um, assuming they... Uh, I guess all of them aren't going to do this, but if they did like a proper remake of this game, that would be a neat way to have like remixed, you know, levels, kind of like Dark World levels, where it's actually nighttime, so the enemies are stronger and the level is remixed. That'd be pretty cool. So, I guess let's get on our way. I forgot we were dealing with the Eclipse. So, uh, uh Gaudius has a, uh, bail it. When it's when it gets dark, watch out. As time passes, it'll get dark and the enemies will get stronger. Be careful. Oh my god, it's the thing I said. Well, not quite the thing I said, but that's still cool. That's a neat mechanic. I'm down for that. That's really cool, actually. Uh oh wow, and apparently platforms appear too. Your attacks won't work on this fearsome creature of the night, run away. Wow, my attacks just straight up don't work. It doesn't look too fearsome. But I'll take your word for it. That's that's interesting. I like this a lot, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this like night and night and day mechanic is is really neat. Um, please don't murder me. Ow. Uh. Okay, my head keeps bonking there. There we go. We made it. Uh huh. Springboard, please. Okay, well, I whoop, definitely want to get this, which... Okay, and yeah, these weirdo dorks spawn when it's nighttime. What an, what an interesting mechanic. That's... That, I'm actually super into this. This is cool. This game does a lot of uh, pretty neat stuff. For 1997. I mean, come on. 97 was a good year. Good year. And this game came out then too, further solidifying how good of a year it was. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing I'm going this way. Obviously there's other places to go too though. How do I get down to them? I do not know. Uh-huh. Okay, that would've been bad. Ow. I'm trying not to kill myself here. Uh, so I need to grab the enemy and then use it, there we go, before 
bad things happen. Wait, aren't you one of the ones I can't hurt? You look like one of the ones I can't hurt. I thought that was how you looked when it was nighttime, but I'm, I'm guessing you're, you're, you're just the normal uh, garden variety mace thrower dork. Can you take me over there, please? Thank you. Because this is what leads to uh, this thing out here. Yeah. Give. Alright, cool. Back of the soy. Okay, so yeah, now I guess we're just going down this way. There was another path. Okay, no, that that's just takes me back to place. Okay, no, that's how those dorks always looked. I thought that was their nighttime variant, but no, they just look like that. All right. I'm just surprised that the enemies have like a nighttime variant at all. Quite frankly. Oh, what? Wait, why did you not? Okay, I must have missed you. Oh, goodness. Moo, please. Moo, please. Wow, the world of Klonoa gets really rough at night. There's so many cool concepts in this game, and this being, like, the first one, I'm so interested in seeing what the second game actually does. Because uh, I've generally heard everyone say, um, usually when I heard people talking about Klonoa, that the second one is better. So I'm interested to see what they pull off with that one. I don't know. I really like I really like this so far. I'm quite into it. it makes me sad that I missed it when uh I was younger. Okay. Nothing really So I need to go over there. Bahu Yeah, it makes me really excited for the second one. Because they're gonna be able to, you know, nail down some of these concepts. Possibly even more in the in the next game. I imagine I'll maybe have like more abilities too, instead of just I can inflate people. Might get some new new skills and stuff. Usually what happens across new games, you know? I know, wild concept I'm describing right here. Uh uh. -huh. Nope, get me up there please. Thank you. Uh-huh. Get the- oh. Yeah, getting all of those is pretty- pretty hard. With those things. Because you kind of have to time your- when you pick it up just right. There we go. Good old flutter. Flutter jump with the best of them. Okay, they're spooky and strong now. Over here. Bang. So, come here, you? No? Well, I'd like to kill... Ow. I'd like to kill this moot. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to grab them, but it's hard to do from the right side. I, I can see where I've got to go, but I want to kill the giant moot across the way here before I go over there. And I'm trying to see if I can pick these dorks up from, like, the side, but... There, okay, I got one, and then I actually threw it. Damn it all. There we go. I, ow. Oh. And then it got destroyed because it turned to nighttime. How unfortunate. Can you go away, please? You're really invading my personal space right now. Uh, boom? Nope. Yeah, grabbing them can be hard sometimes. There we go. Oh, I had the ch Damn it. Had to jump. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I would be fine just going over there, but I'm trying to play it safe so that I don't die. And... Huh. Okay, jump. There we go. See? Is that so bad? Uh... Huh. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, at least you're up there now. Now I just need to take care of the... Other move, and all I really want to do is just knock its armor off. Once I knock its armor off, I'll go over there. All right, so dork. There we go. All right, let's go. Beam me across, Scotty. Okay, it's nighttime now. Uh. Oh what? 
What? What? I, oh, I'm very confused about what happened there. I was floating across and like... I, I can't fall off this way normally. Weird. Yeah, I've never really fallen off that way like that before. That was a weird one. I mean, at least I had another opportunity to do these, but... Weird. I... Oh. I got bumped off the, the platform. God, the gravity is annihilating me today. Yeah. Alright. That, that went a lot faster this time. So, be very careful with this, I suppose. I'm gonna f make sure I fly, like, close to that way. Yeah, like... I don't know how I fell off last time. I'm guessing I was, like, holding too far forward. Like... Yeah, like, I can't- I can't walk off here now. Did I- I don't know, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, and I'm just- I'm just being dumb right now. Maybe. I- I, I don't know. Because <laughs> I could have sworn I was like, I jumped off the platform onto that thing, and then I kind of just slid off. Alright, boom. But, I- may, maybe I'm just a dummy. It would not be the first time. Believe me. All right, so can it turn tonight in here? Because that that thing over there is one of those uh like little walls that recede, right? Hey, dork. Owie. Um, I wanna. Which way is optional? The biggest struggle. Always the biggest pain. Um. Okay. Uh. I don't think there's a. Oh, I can grab you from right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's not enough. Uh, come back. I need you again. I'm gonna give that another shot. That doesn't appear to be enough. Huh. Yeah, I mean. Okay, no. I. I don't think I was timing my jump well enough. I think that's what was going on there. Okay, there we go. We only need one more. And this opens up the way over here. Good stuff, good stuff. So I did go the correct optional path. I think I wasn't letting my jump get to full height before I was uh, pressing the button on that last one. That's why I was running to some trouble there. You gotta let your height fully extend, or you gotta let your jump fully extend first, and then you can do it. Okay. Where does this go? Uh... Over here? Okay. What's over here? I'm, I'm testing- I'm keeping the eye on all these platforms now because they scare me. Like... I keep regularly not knowing what, what what's going on here. I keep screwing up because of it. Uh, oh, I wanted to throw you. It sucks that they just die if uh, I grab them before, and uh, then it turns to nighttime. But I suppose that makes sense because they'd probably devour me. Otherwise, grabbing you, dorks, feels weird because I, the perspective is so hard for me sometimes. There we go. Give. Now I gotta wait for it to change from uh, what's it called? Uh, nighttime. Yeah, this mechanic's cool. There's a lot of waiting when you're when you kind of need to be able to grab an enemy, and uh, it's um, night though. Okay, really glad I didn't accidentally fall off there. Maybe that was it. Maybe I jumped off too early um, when I jumped on that platform that one time. Alright, so this probably takes me back down to that thing, right? Or... This is the exit? What is this? Oh no, did I just... I think I just activated the exit to the level. And I... Okay, no, I can fly over it, good. 
so how do I how do I get to this? It's like a door. And I thought that was going to lead to it somehow. I guess it was back in that room and it was something that I missed. But I've opened up the way to the actual exit for the entire level now. I just need to figure out how to actually get to that door. I think there was another path in here I just never took, right? Is it just you? Yeah, okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it was. I just never went through that door. I walked past it thinking that one was progress, and then went to this one, but this one ended up being progress, and oh my god, the, the never-ending struggle of which path's the correct path? Because I don't want to go down the correct path. Oh, I gotta activate you again. Uh, come here, you. Please. Thing. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I guess the main thing uh, that can help me out with the perspective, I've had to do this on some platformers before. Just pay attention to my shadow. <laughs> if I can see my shadow, I'm safe. But if I can't see my shadow, I am death. Alright, well, at least we finished the level now. I need the sun song, jeez. What's a Klonoa gotta do for an ocarina? Alright. And now we just smack this again, and we're out of here. Cool. Uh, oh, this isn't actually the end of the level yet. Surprising. I really thought it was going to be. That's not something I can make like that, right? I... It almost feels like it is, but I think I just barely can't make it. But no, there's nothing else I actually care to get in the level. Like, yeah, we're just gonna finish it up now. Boom. So is that just for you? Why do I care about you being free? Do I even want you free? Don't know that I do, but maybe I need you to solve a puzzle or something? Daytime, daytime, daytime. Okay, thought it was gonna turn daytime faster. Did that. Oh, they're armored. Armored move. Huh. Okay. All right. Activated that one. Ooh. Please go away. I would very much appreciate it if you just left me alone. Okay. What's in here? Um. Oh. 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 Wait. Yeah. Okay. We linked back around to the place I. Was that before? Gotcha. Okay, but now you're free. So... What does that allow me to do? Hmm. It must allow me to get somewhere, but where? Is it over that fence or something? Cause, yeah, no, this isn't anything. All right, just come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination. Okay, uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. The struggle. Oh, wow, I actually made it up there? What? I didn't think I could make that jump. And then I just did it without even trying to. Okay. Wait, so is this the exit? Okay, I thought that was where I was going to be exiting from. But evidently, that is not the case. Okay, never mind. We, we figured it out. All of that was optional. All of that was optional. I just had to make that jump. Jeez. Okay. Well, we did it now. Boss fight time. Boss fight time. I'm too sleepy for this. Gadi. Gadi. Elle est là, Jack. Hello. 
<laughs> Get the gold. God, look at this JoJo villain. See, give both names. I'll give them all. Take it easy. Who the hell think I'm once? Galgalot, Eudolio. Marumes Avoina Gelt, Vlady is Nisio Dalsel. Algun Bankuch. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're we actually gonna fight your ass now. What are you gonna do? You don't even have legs. Come on. Oh, I see lines. Oh no, God. No, not the golden path, please. Ugh. Lines. That's all I think of. Tunic has broken me. All right. Is, this isn't some kind of circuitry puzzle, is it? So you are bigger now. Um. Uh. Dang. Okay, that actually works. Uh huh. Boom. Okay, you're surprisingly super simple, boss. I must say, you must have like a second phase or something, right? Oh yeah, well there's the crystals. Yeah, they're, the enemies aren't revealing themselves now. Oh my god, look at this Kirby enemy. Okay, well now you look slightly more ridiculous. Before you were very... Ow! Okay, am I trying to make them one color? Am I trying to make them all yellow? What is this? Ow. I'm thinking I'm trying to make them all yellow. I don't know how to dodge that one attack you do, by the way. That one's relatively simple, but the other one, I... I don't know. This one. Yeah, that I don't know how to dodge. I have no idea how I'm supposed to dodge that. Bastro, uh, yeah, that that part's easy. When the eclipse starts, pay attention to the different colors on the floor. Walk over all the tiles to change the back. Yeah, yeah. So I am supposed to change them yellow, like I thought. Uh, I wasn't actually dead there, but I fell through the platform when you knocked me over, and that kind of screwed me. Oh, your stupid spinny fists. Boom. There we go. Uh, why did I throw that there? Looked like it was lining up for like a second, but it was not. Oh, I'm missing all of the attacks now. Uh, okay, don't get too close to that. Come on. Thing. I need like one more. Okay, yeah, at least I know what I'm doing this time. Really bad at aiming these fists this time. Is it night? It's night. Okay, so... Gotta turn things back. Yeah, I don't know why you turn into this weird turtle turtle with tentacles. I... I don't get that part. Wait, why, why is this you? Why do you look like such a weird amalgam? Uh-huh. Yeah, more, do that attack a bunch. That attack's easy to dodge. The other ones are the ones that's bad. So, please. This one. Yeah, I guess I just gotta time it. Ooh, there's HP over there. That I want. Okay, yeah, if you just time it. We're, oh, it fell off? I didn't even know that was a possibility. Okay. Well, apparently that can happen. The heart can just decide to jump off a cliff. 
thanks, I guess, heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're coming over here. Boom. Try to get as many hits as we possibly can here. Oh, bounced off the fist. Oh, bounced off the fist. Every attack I miss probably means another cycle of night that I'm gonna have to go through too. So I really gotta focus on my timing with these. So I don't have to do too many cycles with you. I think we've got it though. I understand it now. So I know what I'm up against. Aren't you like a weird excuse for a Pokemon? What? That? Oh, I thought I didn't think that was gonna hit me, but it had other plans. Okay, yeah, now you're doing two. Uh huh. Really wish you doofuses would get out of the way. You know. Thank you. I don't want to see the upgraded version of your other attack that you do. That one I'm kind of scared of. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. See, that one's not that bad to dodge. It is just a timing-based thing. There we go. Give. Give. Give me. Give to me. Come on! Stop being a crystal. Here we go. All right, come on. We can whatever cycle your ass. Your stupid spinning fist. God, I'm so bad at timing this. There we go. Oh, give me this move. Uh huh. Bang. There we go. Whew. Vision five too clear. Yay. Out of here, Joker. Grandfather, you've been avenged. Good. I mean, was it worth it? You're dead now. Oh, of course you explode. <laughs> All good bosses explode. It is a rule. It is known. Harpoon Cannon, fire! God, I love Skies of Arcadia. No way! Okay, I thought you were burning down my hometown. <laughs> I thought that's what was happening. But no, now I think you're just nuking the planet. Yeah. For creating yourself a Dracula's castle? So this must be the final world, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that floating Dracula's castle. All right, flying fish, let's do this. Cool, all right, so yeah, that has to be like the final world up there. I think I, I think I saw on the Steam page that the first game is 12 levels, so this certainly makes sense. So we got, we got two more levels there. All right, 
Oh, and it looks like uh, I got all the gyms in uh, that level, right? Yep, yep, 5-2. I got all the gyms there. Cool. That's neato, at least. At least I did something right, that level. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, an interesting fight. Uh, I definitely had a hard time with the fists. <laughs> because I can't aim for shit. My, my uh, measuring distance for me, I guess, is, is hard in uh, this game, but... All right, so it seems like we're getting to the crazy finale. The uh, other world is successfully bleeding into this world and we gotta stop it before it devours everything and makes all our plants wither. Yeah, we definitely started off with uh, a very simple premise and now it's like, we're not attacking and dethroning God per se and it doesn't go as far as like Kirby does where it's like, all right, d defeat the God of the universe or anything like that, but it's getting darker than I thought this game was going to go. I wasn't really sure what to expect from Klonoa, and I gotta say, this is not it. It really makes me excited for what's to come, so... I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.